What's up, bud? What's up, How Tucky? You? How's it so going? So why'd you drag me out here today? So I drug myself out here today to um, ask you a couple of questions about the Z51 Corvette that you have here. So tell me a little bit about the past history on these things. Well, Corvettes started 1964, and I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to say about that. Tell me what you think about Corvettes from 1964. Do you like the way that those body styles were? What, what do you th how, do you, how far do you think they've come over the years? Well, Corvettes have definitely come really far over the years, saying that the original Corvettes came in six cylinders. Now they don't come with six cylinders. You could have got a V8 back then. The styling, in my opinion, was a lot better back then, but now it's not bad as you can see here, but it's nothing crazy. But this is kind of a twist on what a normal Corvette would be. So back in the day, like you said, you had six cylinder Corvettes and now we have, what, what kind of motors in this car? This is a LS3 based platform. So it's a 6.2 liter? About, yeah. Okay. A little bigger. So what does a Z06 come with? So what, what do they have? They have a Z51, they have a Z06, and they have a ZR1 in the C6, right? So this is a base model Z51, which came with a LS3 stock. Could have got an automatic or manual. This is a manual. Six speed? Six speed manual, TR6060. Um, the Z06 would have came with a 427 seven liter, the LS7, or okay. the <clears throat> ZR1 would come with a LS9 in it. Okay. So what year is this one? This is a 2008, which is the first year that they put the TR6060 in and the first year of the LS3. And if you guys don't know generations of Corvette, when you say C6, it's the new ones that everyone's very aware of is the C7. This is the generation before that C6, and then below that C5. You can look up the years based on which year and era um, they change from which C generation they go to. But So obviously, as you can tell, this car is far from stock. Um, just by looking at it, I mean, it could be a showboater. It has a big, big slick in the rear, small little, what, are these 15-inch rims? In the rear there. In the rear, and there you got 18s in the front or 19s in the front? 18s. 18s in the front, okay, and you have the big brake kick from the Z06. Yes, so in the front Sick. it's got the Z06 brakes on it. The rear is it's got the 15-inch conversion kit with uh, Willwood brakes in the rear. So how long have you owned this car? I've had this car for seven months now, and uh, it's definitely been a roller coaster from owning it. Okay. So right when I uh, bought the car originally, yeah, the motor was built, had the blower on it, had a stock trans, with a clutch and stock diff. And actually on Christmas Eve, I had my grandfather come over who's 90 years old. My dad told me to take him for a spin. So naturally I backed out of the driveway. My dad flips up his phone. So I had to do a burnout when I left. And I revved it up, dropped the clutch. And, and the next car... thing that happened is gonna be right here. <laughs> And uh, after, as you can see in the video, I broke the output shaft in the trans, which cracked the diff. So uh, <laughs> I was in a pinch. This was December 25th. Texas 2K was the second week of March. So I had to get it fixed. And it was, it was a fun time. We got it all together. We made it down to TX 2K. We did all right. We ended up qualifying 41, I think, out of 130 cars. So it did all right comparing what this is compared to the underground well, they racing. I don't know what this is yet. So before you even get into that, you're, you're creeping too far ahead. So what do these cars have stock power-wise? They're a little over 400 horsepower stock. Okay, and torque like 400, 420, something around there? About, yeah. Okay, and they make like 380 wheel, 375 actual wheel horsepower? About. Because everyone's about the wheel horsepower. If you say crank, everyone's overrating their cars, underrating their cars. I, I don't want that. I want actual numbers. So I guess let's, let's ask you the big question. What is actually done to this car? I guess the better question is, Chuck, what isn't done to this car? Okay. Um, it's got a YSI uh, blower on it, supercharger. What size is it? Uh, Do you know? I don't know exactly the millimeter size on it. Okay. I know it's over 100 millimeters. Um, it's huge. It's a wicked sounded kit, which you guys will hear here soon. Um, the car has a built motor. Literally everything's been touched, fully forged, rotating assembly. The heads have all been done this platform the way it's been sitting exactly the uh car as of right now has all been gone through it's knock on wood running 100 percent right now um it's got a built trans a z06 diff uh, uh triple disc rps clutch in it it's uh it's definitely a handful to drive to say the least and what tires is it sitting on those are mickey thompson's yeah those are mickey thompson uh drag radials so what size are they 
They're two six, uh, 275, 60, 15s. And the factory tires are 285s, right? Yes. So you downsized. It's kind of crazy that I actually put a narrower tire in the rear, but it is a slick versus the regular tires. So do you want to tell them how much power the car makes? The car, the car made just under a thousand wheel horsepower. I was a little upset that it didn't make exactly. So for a you thousand. guys out there that like talk up cars and they want to know the crank horsepower, it makes easily over a thousand crank. Oh, it probably makes close to eleven hundred to the crank. And it probably makes nine twenty, nine forty wheel. It made nine sixty seven wheel. Okay, so we'll put the dyno sheet right up there for you guys to check out real quick. So enough of us babbling on about this car. I mean, I'll let them ask answer one more thing. How much would you say this car is compared to all your cars in the past? I've had a lot of cars. I've had a lot of fun cars, big lifted trucks, a little bit of everything. This car is the definition of a handful to drive. Does it scare the shit out of you? It scares the shit out of me. All this right. car is a stick shift car, which is instant power, and a supercharged car, which is instant power, versus most people's cars that are automatic turbo cars, which are both delayed power. So this car is instant power. Whenever you step on it, it's there. You don't have to wait for so it. So it's a driver's car. There's The only way to describe this car in one word is violent, to say the least. Mental. So we're gonna go and uh, go for a quick test drive and let you guys hear this thing, see how it handles, see how it rides, and uh, what it's like to ride around in a 900, close to a thousand horsepower Corvette. So let's hit the road. All right, time to do the in-car portion of the review. So when I was driving behind you, I saw when you got on it, the, the beads on the tires were kind of just like wobbling back and forth a little bit. Why is that? Well, with the 15 inch rims, you got a lot more sidewall on the tire, which lets the car sway back and forth and affects the drivability a lot. They're okay. really only built for going fast in a straight line. Okay. All right, so let's go for a little cruise then. Oh, let me grab, make sure everything's locked and loaded back here. Oh, the cargo secure. I'll make sure all is secure. Prepare for flight. Get ready. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure he didn't even get a chance to fully 
heavily into it, build full boost or anything like that. No. Like, this I mean, car hooked up pretty well from second gear. What was that, 20, 25 miles an hour? Yeah, about that. I mean, it was, it was blowing the tires off pretty good. This thing for a test drive now. I'm going to try to install this thing. Let's see how it goes. Good luck, Chucky. Good luck. I haven't driven a fast car in like three years. Okay. I'm going to take your AC away. Oh, I forgot we had that on. We did the pull. How do I turn it off? It's all the way down. Right there. All right. This is, um, I'm not going to stall it. Oh, Chucky stalls it. Gosh damn it. No. I call, he called it too. And I used to give him shit for selling. Wow, well first of all, drivability in this car I should have got into with him is definitely quite difficult. This is not easy to drive at all. Jet skiing, wakeboarding, just fun ass car events like 
like you said, subscribe and just join us for the ride, man. This is going to be a good time. Hey, and tell us if you think it'd be cool if we started doing some building content, building cars and stuff. Because you, you got a what? I got a 69C10 that we're going to do a 5.3 with a LSA blower on it, fully built motor. And it's, nice. he's not saying it nonchalant like, oh yeah, we're going to do this, but just talk about it. No, like he's legit going to do this. You had a C10 before that, but you just ended up, you were in school and stuff, so. Yeah, it just didn't work out, so. So we got it again, and this time he's going to full, you this know, one, we're doing it. to it. It's what, June 3rd today or something like that. The goal is to have the car done by the middle of August to drive to the Woodward Dream Crew. It's going to be a Woodward oh, Dream Crew. That is going to be a good weekend that we will be vlogging the entire time of. So anyways, like I said, if you like he said, if you guys like the content, like, subscribe, comment. We're going to get some food and ice cream. We'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Peace out.